2023 Great Lakes St. Lawrence Seaway System navigation season begins in full with the Sioux Locks scheduled opening tomorrow. Here to talk with us about the opening is Duluth Seaway Port Authority Executive Director Deb DeLuca. Welcome. Thanks for being here. And Deb, it feels like you were just here talking about the end of the season and now this one's underway. It's kind of an exciting time at the port. It is. It, the opening season is always exciting. I think this year especially. Um, if you remember last year, the, the, as we talked about in January, last year's season started really slowly with very heavy ice cover, uh, very late peak ice, and so maritime uh, shipping movements were impeded at, at critical points in the Great Lakes. And this year we have only about 5% ice cover on Lake Superior, so uh, it's, uh, it's uh, full throttle. <laughs> <laughs> Deb, just how vital is the maritime industry to northern Minnesota and to Wisconsin? It's, it's, a, it's, it's a big, it's a, frankly, it's the reason why the Twin Ports are, 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 are the cities that exist. they are. It's the reason we're here. Uh, it represents 1.4 billion in, in business activity every year and about 8,000 jobs in the, re in the region. And that's just counting the maritime uh, freight movements across the docks, not even the, you know, at, and, and every one of those docks is a node where road and rail and ship, shipping comes together. So that's not even counting those movements that don't touch the water. Wow. Mm -hmm. Some big news on a new monthly liner service yes. from Duluth to Belgium um, that's going to carry containers. That's a big deal. It is a big deal. Yeah. It is a big deal. So as you will recall, we added the maritime container capability last year. Uh, um, this a partnership with Splitoff, which is the Dutch steamship line that's offering this monthly service between Antwerp and Duluth. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, that's a, th that partnership has been growing for years. The, our agent, um, the Duluth Cargo Connect Service, uh, does a, a, an excellent job. Just, you know, very good service, really great reliability, and that's always important in supply chain. So. Um, uh, Splitov is offering this this once monthly service into and out of Duluth that will service um, that means that that's containers they can carry containers on those ships but also the general cargo that we gen always see at our terminal the big heavy pieces of of, um, of industrial machinery mm -hmm. that you have to pick up with a forklift or not forklift with the, the crane and um, so between the containers and the general cargo that's what will be, that's what will be on those ships and that what that means is really great uh, greater um, optionality for supply chain in the region and that will service a broad catchment area including Fargo Moorhead the Twin Cities you know all the way out to Alberta Wisconsin Omaha the you know the, sure. the UP you know so it's, it's a big deal. Deb the Port Authority owns and manages really several waterfront properties tell us about that if you can. Well the most important one I know we always have little amount of time is the clear public marine terminal and that is the general cargo terminal in the port it is the only public terminal in the port, and it's the only general cargo terminal in the port where, uh, so where it, private companies can access that don't have their mm -hmm. own dock and access the deep sea shipping um, that's offered by the Great Lakes St. Lawrence Seaway Ship uh, okay. System. And there's a major construction project wrapping up. Yes. This year with 55,000 square foot of warehouse Very good. Space. Yes. And that <laughs> one, when, we, when we finish that later this summer, we'll have about 500,000 square feet oh. of warehouse space. And as part of that, that clear public marine terminal, we operate that as a multimodal logistics hub. So we have all these different modes of transportation that cross that, you know, cross the terminal. And we can, and really what that means is that the industries we serve, we can provide them with that, that supply chain optionality between, you know, the maritime container, sure. the, you know, the intermodal container on road and rail, just truck, you know, four class one railroads, all the warehouse space. It's it's a it means great options for the region and then that import export capability that's provided by those various routes. Deb, I've noticed a number of white trucks parked down by the port. <laughs> Did they come in or are they going out? Um, those are uh, those belong to one of our tenants, a very important industrial employer in the region, Eltec. I see. Um, and they they build that the, the the hoist equipment that gets put on those trucks. So you could they, you're seeing both both yes. the ones that come in and go out. And so that's that's their They're busy. storage. They're very busy. It's always that way. Yeah. Good, good. They're always looking to hire anyone anyone who's listening. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, last year, um, cargoes were down in in some areas. Iron ore was down. Grain was down a little bit. What are you looking at for this year? Well, if you remember, it, it was it was actually an okay year for for iron ore last year. Mm -hmm finishes slightly off, like 2.3% two, 2 mm -hmm. off the five-year average. This year, um, uh, th but the, Janu the January number was, uh, was, there was a big uptick at the end of the season. So there was a lot of momentum at the end of the season. 
uh, you know, the mines are up and running full, full tilt. Um, we're expecting that actually the number for January was the biggest January that we've seen since the early 2000s. Um, and we're expecting that momentum to continue. I talked to the, the Iron Mining Association Executive Director and she, they, they, have, they have the same message that there's, so we're expecting iron ore to be strong. Grain is very difficult to read. There's so many factors that go into grain um, and I could list them here, but we'll run out of time. So we had a very poor grain year last year. Mm -hmm. The dollar is uh, off its peak. It, it, that, it, it, a very strong dollar makes us less competitive internationally. Um, and then there's a lot of odd things going on in, I mean, I could, in, in uh, Russia and the Ukraine. Russia just went backwards on a deal to allow Ukraine to ship through the, through the Baltic Sea. That's now reversed, so that means there's, less, there's gonna be less grain coming out of that area. Makes, again, makes other ad, ad additional opportunities. Mm -hmm. So th that one's hard to read. Cement should have a good year. There's so, mm -hmm. much, in, there's so much construction, all the infrastructure work that's going on in the region. And, uh, throughout the nation. Will so, we see cruise ship traffic again this year? Yes, we will. You know, last year, the Viking, that was the first year we've had cruising since, I think, 2013. Um, Viking made seven stops this year. This year, they're making roughly the same number, but the big news is that some of those are what we call turnaround stops. They, so they're coming, they're starting and ending uh, trips here, I see. which is big deal. So you can get for, on a boat here. You can get on a boat, you can get on, and you can get off, a, get boat, off a boat, and that means people are uh, flying into Duluth, flying out Wonderful. of Duluth, staying in Duluth, getting to see all the great amenities that we offer here in this region. So that's 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 a big win for Duluth. There's also uh, the Vikings. Not, it's not only Viking is coming. There are two other cruise ship lines coming. Uh, as you recall, the deck dock wall is under construction. So those are actually being accommodated are, are at the Cooler Public Marine Terminal this year. Okay. After this year, they'll be back at the deck. All right, we're getting a wrap, but first of all, the deadline to enter the first ship contest, midnight tonight. Tonight, so get, get your get entry your, in. Get your entry <laughs> in. <laughs> Absolutely. And, 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 and thank you so much for coming in and, and talking about the ship. Thanks so much. All right. It's always Thank fun to be here. Much.